Sheikh, what is the spacing? Some people, you know, they span, uh, they stand like expanded feet hmm. and the uh, sun. Hmm. When you do the li when you do your line, okay, how to stand, uh, where to put the position of your legs, okay? Yeah, the, the mission it should be at the same level of your shoulders. This is the level of my shoulders, so my feet should be the same level. Why? Because if you keep your feet the same level of your shoulders, then you can close the gaps. Yes. But if you keep your legs wide so there will be should there will uh, gaps between your shoulders and if you keep your legs very narrow then the gaps will be down shoulders okay touched but the gaps the legs now mm. They keep their they keep their legs very wide. Yeah, in sort of in the Allah Allah. 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 They want to fill the gap. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, you know some what what some brothers do. The I am praying here, and there is one brother here, one brother here. Okay, and they don't keep they don't care to close the gaps. So I'm trying to catch their legs. So I keep my legs like this, number eight. Okay. So, يعني, I'm trying to catch them. يعني, well, like, this is a problem. <coughs> because you are trying to catch here, but there is a gap upstairs in the shoulders. Yes, I know, you know, so, so, يعني, sorry, the problem from people. Okay? But don't يعني, make, the, make the problem with them also. Okay? Keep your body straight. Okay? And after the salah, maybe you can tell the imam to give them a talk how to keep your salah, uh, how to make the lines according to the sunnah. Yes? Mm. It's, it's not that you have to fill the gap or something. It's like, mm. uh, if you are Salafi, then you have to fill the gap. Uh, there, there is some, some Hakim. Hakim, they said like, if you keep your legs open uh? and you're straight like this, it's uh. very good for your, you know, for uh, the for stomach and the uh, digestion system. <laughs> no, no, please. Yani, wallah, if you keep your legs like, like this, it is good. It is healthy for your stomach. We do in the salah. Do it. yes, do it outside the salah. Don't do it in the salah. Uh, no, no, the spaces, if, uh, yeah, and if we pray like this, okay, this will not invalidate, uh, as you know, because of Corona now, we are praying like this, and the fatwa from the scholars, because it is needed. But also, yeah, and if there is no Corona, if there, there is a gap, it will not break the Salah. It will not break the Salah. But, yeah, because some scholars say this is wajib, some scholars say mustahab. But even if it is wajib, it will not invalidate the Salah. Okay? صح. Yes, they ignore the shoulders and they focus on the feet. Yeah. Sheikh, oh, I think in India now, three lines in one masjid. One is in the inside the AC, another in the chair, and another people, they don't want AC out of their class. <laughs> three, how come this is? Okay, the question, three, uh, three groups in the jama'ah. One group or one line, let's say, they want the AC. So they are praying inside the main hall. The second line, praying on chair. The third line, they don't like the AC, and they are praying outside the masjid. They, and this is as a fiqh issue. They, uh, that what, yeah, it is called Salatul Jama'ah. It is called, what does it mean Salatul Jama'ah? The congregation should be one group, not three groups. So Salat al-Jama'ah should be one group, but يعني, uh, يعني, to decide, wallahi, it is valid or not valid. Because no doubt, the sunnah that the line should be closed. يعني, uh, the first line should be closed to the imam. And also this is one of the points Sheikh Ba'athameen mentioned that don't, يعني, يعني, 
don't keep a big a gap between the imam and the first line because sometimes what what we notice there is maybe two meters between the imam and the first line no no need for that Khalas, the imam should be here and this is the first line so when i make sujood directly my head will be near when i make in the sujood very near very close to his feet Taib. and th the same thing the second line when we do the sujood yani imagine if you are doing the sujood now we are doing sujood 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 there should be yani i will not say no gap but it should be very small gap between the head and the feet Taib. if there is a big gap or if there is a gap this is the first line the second line or the imam or a bigger Taib. If, yani, the, yani, yani, for example the hanbali they mission if you are in the masjid then the salah is valid yeah, for example, this is the masjid. Okay, the imam here and the first line here. The second line after maybe 20 meters. Because they are sitting at the end on chairs. We say, uh, yeah, this is not sunnah, but we say the salah is valid. But for example, they are sitting, the masjid is almost empty. And they are praying outside the masjid. No, this is mushkila. This is mushkila. Because some scholars say this, uh, the, their jama'ah is not valid. Because jama'ah means to be with the uh, imam. Okay? But if they are in the masjid, okay, yeah, and for example, now our masjid, the two holes. But you know, between the two holes, three or four doors, big doors open. So it means you are in the masjid. So the, there are five people praying the back hall because the AC is on or off. Your salah is valid. But this is wrong. Habibi, come to the Imam. You come to the Imam. You have to solve this issue. Tayyip? I think we should just. Yeah. Sometimes mine is not continuous. And then it's because of pillar, or sometimes in our country, I think they keep the show regulation. You have sh what? In between the lines? Okay. Uh, 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 the brother is asking what about there is. Uh, uh, pillar. So, yeah. uh, number one, the Prophet said there is hadith that he forbade to to pray in between the pillars. <coughs> okay, before them or after them, don't make anything to cut your line. Yeah. But if you pray, the salah is valid. And Yaman's called mission. This is makruh. But if it is needed, then this is what. Yani, how? What does it mean? Need? Yani, it is a small masjid, or maybe it is a big masjid, but it is full. Or Ramadan or Eid, full. So if we skip the line of the pillar or the pillars, okay. And how many pillars in the masjid? Yeah, maybe three pillars. One here. One. So we miss three lines, and every line sixty musalli. So about two hundred people. So now we pray because it is needed. If, if you can't pray before or after the pillar, do this. Avoid the pillar. No Don't make anything to cut the pillar. But for example, if you are in a situation that we should pray in the same line of the pillar. So do it because it is needed. So even after the two pillars, the other side, they can pray? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, like yes because this is needed. This is needed. Huh? Jum'a or maybe the small masajid, the taraweeh, or you know in the non-Muslim country, the masjid is very small. Very small, it is only for 50 people, 60 people. Or here, maybe in some musallah, in the malls, like this. And keeping, keeping the shoes, of course this will not cut the, the because yani, the shoes will take, yani, let's say, 30 centimeters. Okay, this will not cut the, yani, the salah, but you know, it doesn't look nice, yani, the smell, yani, I make the sujood and the smell of the shoes and this, no. not, not nice. Isn't it that there's a hadith where you should not keep the footwear in front of you? Is it there something like that? Okay, uh, there is yani, the hadith that yani, if, uh, the sunnah is to pray with your shoes. But if you are not praying with your shoes, okay, you keep it with on your, uh, yani, uh, you, yani, your left. But if you are praying jama'ah, you keep it in between, between your legs, like, like that, inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Salli Allah wa sallam ala Muhammad. Can you pray in the slipper? Yes.
as we said, it is sunnah to pray with your shoes or slippers. But if you are bringing the masjid and the masjid, okay, carpet clean, so don't enter with your slippers. But for example, you are praying at home or in the school, no carpet. You pray, yes, you pray, but make sure that it is clean. It is clean, and there is no filth, no najasa.